Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at what happens in terms of energy when we break and form new bonds. The example I'm going to use is the reaction between hydrogen and oxygen to produce water. So as you can see from the reaction that you just saw on the left hand side, when you take hydrogen, add a splint to it, a lit splint, it reacts with the oxygen in the air and produces water H2O, which you can see here with my balanced equation. So I have two hydrogen molecules reacting with one oxygen molecule to make two water molecules. What we need to look at is what's happening when we break the bonds of hydrogen and oxygen and then when the bonds form when we make our water. So if we start off with bond breaking then, as you saw from the video, I put in heat. I had my splint and I lit it. And what that did was it broke the bonds. Now what we were doing at that point is the bonds themselves were taking in energy. So energy was taken in to break the bonds. If energy is taken in, hopefully you can remember that from our definition, it is endothermic. So every single time you break a bond, it is endothermic. If we then look at the formation, as you saw from the video, I put in a tiny amount of energy and loads of heat was given out. So in this case, we saw really clearly that when bonds were formed, energy was given out. Therefore, if energy is given out, it exits, we say it's exothermic. So every new bond that is formed is exothermic. And that's really all there is to it. So there are many things the examiner can ask you here. Here is an example question which says, describe what happens during a reaction in terms of bond breaking and bond forming. So which part is endothermic, which part is exothermic? Two marks, nice and easy. Have a go at it, we'll see how you've done in a second. Okay, let's see how you've done then. So describe what happens during a reaction in terms of bond breaking. As we said, energy is taken in, therefore bond breaking is endothermic. And bond forming, we saw from the video, energy is given out. If it's given out, it exits, therefore it must be exothermic. Okay, so one mark for each of those. That's this video done. There is a review question which is very, very similar. Look at the table below, which correctly shows what happens when bonds are broken and formed. So A, is bond breaking exothermic and bond forming endothermic? B, exothermic, exothermic. C, endothermic, exothermic. Or D, endothermic, endothermic. That brings this video to an end. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, click on like down below. You can have a look at the latest video. You can visit the website and you can also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Bye now.